Well, first of all, people are just using it more, right? right? So it's popular. Yeah, young people, this is the primary way they communicate. Um, but then once we launched it, we realized there are a whole bunch of other things about text that make it a fantastic means for counseling. So first of all, it's it's private, it's silent. So um, you could be texting us right now, ah. and we wouldn't know. So right. we spike every day during lunchtime. Um, people are texting us in the middle of lunch, and their coworkers and classmates sitting around them, and they have no idea that they're actually texting so us. So if somebody was in an abusive relationship or depressed, they could be texting and getting support in the situation. For their anxiety, their depression. In the moment. Without anybody knowing it. That's right. And because it's in that moment, we can have the maximum impact. You don't have to wait till later to call someone or wait till later to go see a counselor. Right. We can get you in the moment and tip you to a healthy decision to call 911 or to stop the anxiety attack or not to swallow that pill. Mm. So um, it's, it's impact. We don't get the words like, um, hyperventilating, crying. We just get facts. Right. Uh, they it tell does us make things it immediately. Much more, you lose tone. We lose tone. But you gain candidness and efficiency, I guess. Absolutely. And lose repetition. Also, you can keep things uh, on your phone. So when we text you and some reassuring thoughts, some people keep it on their phone. Sure. Other people um, delete it completely. And actually, thanks to Richard Branson writing an email on our behalf to the four mobile carriers, we not only have they waived all of our fees and texture fees, but they've pulled us from texters' bills. So it's as if you never texted us. It's totally fascinating. Anonymous, which is great for their safety. Ah. And what is the number? If people need to text this number, what number should they text? 741741. It makes a line up the left side of your phone. 741. Oh, yeah, sure. 741741. Yep. So you got a really good, what do they call that? An SMS code? A short code or yeah, something? Yeah, it's a short code. It's a short code. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a regular seven-digit phone number with a three-digit area code. Exactly. It's six. 741741. And it's in the U.S. only. U.S. only right now. We're working on other countries. Got it. Um, now... Who is on the other side of the text? And how, I've always wondered about this, how do you train them yeah. to manage this? Because I was just watching, I don't know if you watch Transparent uh, on, I think it's Amazon, and Chris, great show. Um, but they have somebody at a crisis line for uh, people who are transgender, and it's like the person is ill-equipped to kind of deal with it. How do you train somebody to deal with, because you deal with everything. Yeah. We do. We see it all. Are these people psychologists? Are they counselors? Are they just other fellow human beings? They're fellow human beings. It's okay. really strangers counseling strangers in their most dire moments. And what they're trained in is empathy. Oh. And so you apply online. There's a background check. You have to be over age 18 and have a U.S. Social Security number. Okay. And then it's about a 34-hour online training that includes role plays and observations and wow. quizzes. It's pretty extensive. From the start of the application to completion, it's only about a 39% acceptance rate. This is Got not it. for everybody. And, In fact, um, most people don't finish. Most people don't finish. That's Got right. It. Or we don't accept them. Right. Um, we fail them. So um, not everybody gets through. And then what it is, is it's training. And we are not here to solve your issue. We are not counselors. We are not therapists. We're here to help you get from a hot moment to a cool moment. Mm. We are crisis intervention. Um, we're here to help you reflect and get coping skills so that hopefully next time um, you don't have to rely on us. You remember and have these coping skills to deal with it yourself. Hey, let me tell you about a flawless product that I use every day. It's called Squarespace. And we build all our websites on it because it simply works and I don't need to hire tons of developers or designers to have a great looking website up and running in minutes. And if you go to launchscale.net or you go to launch.co or you go to any of our websites, Launch Festival, we always use Squarespace because it's intuitive and easy to use and all of the people on my team can log in just like they're using Google Docs or Microsoft Word or just a calendar app, and they can just edit the website. It makes things so easy to use. And you get a free domain if you sign up for a year. It's trusted by millions and some of the most respected brands in the world. So getting started is free trial today at squarespace.com. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code TWIST 
and get 10% off your first purchase. Yes, go to squarespace.com, sign up for free. Hey, you get a free domain name if you do it for a year. And when you decide to sign up, because at least sign up for free for a trial because they're so confident, uh, you can use the promo code TWIST. Thank you to Squarespace. I mean, they've been a supporter of this program in independent media. Uh, like this program for years. Really great company. And if you're a developer or a designer or a business development person or a business person, let me tell you, that's probably the best company you could work for in New York. Uh, Anthony over there does a great job and it's a great team. Everybody go ahead and thank at Squarespace on their Twitter and Facebook handles and go ahead and give it a shot. If you've got a small business or your mom or your uncle or your cousin needs to get a website up and running or you have a special project or a portfolio, we want to do commerce or calendars, all that stuff is in there and it looks like a million bucks and you only pay tens of dollars. Okay, thanks again to Squarespace. Mm-hmm.